Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As the title says, this video is looking at the accuracy of a race logic performance box. I wanted to know if it was accurate. It's GPS based and I've had not had good experiences with GPS based GPS based lap timers on Android phones which have a uh, 1 hertz uh, GPS signal. So I wanted to test the race logic performance box. So how accurate is it? The short version is it's very accurate. It gets within around a tenth of a second of the um, actual time. If you want to see the long version then carry on watching this video. So the method, so first of all we needed to get a baseline, something solid that we knew was reliable, i.e. the thing that we're comparing the performance box to was balls on accurate. There's, it's pointless comparing it to like another GPS sensor of unknown accuracy. We needed to have a solid solid baseline. So to get that we used two separate video cameras and also phone audio and then we synced up the picture and the audio from these three sources to check that they were consistent. That's where we got our baseline from and then we can compared the video footage from the two cameras to compare that to the performance box times. So how exactly did we do this comparison? So I just opened up the video editing software. So first of all I synced up these two video cameras here at the start to see if they stayed in sync, i.e. that the, the timers in both those cameras were correct. So we've got uh, 20 minutes of coverage here. So from the start to uh, 20 minutes, the sync was near enough identical. So that was the two cameras having the same timer and then just to double check that these two were correct, comparing it then with the audio from the phone, which is this track here, from the start to the end the sync was identical also so we can say that the, all the three timers were identical and we can say that they were correct because they're all the same from now on we only needed to do a comparison against one of the cameras this is how we did the camera lap times we have this glamorous piece of plastic here which is almost a at the identical position to the start finish line for the race logic. So this is how we measured the lap time. Every time the car passed this piece of plastic in this position that counted the start as the start finish line for the camera and then we counted out the laps for the camera that way. And this is what we ended up with. On the left column here we've got the lap number. Here we've got the performance box lap time and here we've got the camera lap time and this is the difference between the two. This is the camera lap time against the performance box lap time. So this is basically the column that we're interested in. And straight away you can see that it's the camera is consistently measuring a shorter lap than the performance box. Like every single one is zero except this one here. So you can see the lap is quite long, the times varied quite a lot between the laps as you would expect being on the public road and with the traffic light being in the lap. So, so far so good. So basically the, the fine is, just to repeat, the performance box is, is generally slower than the baseline lap time, i.e. the baseline lap time is around a tenth faster consistently than the performance box. And we're seeing that the uh, average difference from the baseline is only 0 0.149 seconds than the reality. What's the conclusion? The race logic uses a 10 hertz GPS signal so at the start of this test we were expecting an accuracy plus or minus 0 0.1 seconds because of this 10 hertz GPS signal. The actual accuracy came back as minus 0 0.149 which is good which is excellent I think especially for the GPS. It is consistently measuring a little bit longer than reality but 0.149 for a 10 hertz GPS signal I think this is completely acceptable so in short is the performance box as accurate as we as you would expect yes it is in our opinion it is 0.149 is uh, perfectly acceptable some laps are going to be better than others but on average you're not looking at a big difference you're not looking at a big standard deviation between the laps some of them will be bigger some will be smaller but I think this is just the nature of the d game when it comes to using a GPS signal so these are these are the results that we got I've shown you how we did it how we came up with a baseline how we did the comparison it's 
it said it was happy with the with the accuracy that it was getting. We weren't getting the um, the GPS warnings on the performance box. I was aware of the limitations at the start. It is using a 10 hertz GPS sensor, which is going to limit the accuracy to to point one. If you need something that consistently measures to point one, i.e., this is how consistent your lap timers are, your lap times are, then perhaps you need something transponder based. But for a GPS based uh, 10 hertz lap timer, yeah, it's, it's 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 what you would expect. So that's the video, guys. As always, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, vote on the video, and I'll see you again next time.